Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Hickey's Music YouTube channel. I'm back again today with this lovely Naked Venus by Faith. It's quite a sultry guitar, it definitely looks that way. It's um, naked, as the, the name would suggest. There's sort of like no unnecessary things added to this guitar that it doesn't need to sound great, um, which is a nice little philosophy that they're going by over at Faith Guitars. Uh, it sounds really nice. Um, I really like this guitar, I'm gonna show you why. There's a 15 inch lower bout on this guitar and uh, it's still quite a deep guitar uh, but it's smaller I guess in size, it gives you sort of like room to jump around with it is what they say which is quite cool, jumping around with a naked Venus sounds uh, right up any guitar player's alley I'm sure. two-stage satin finish that they use on the body which is quite cool so it's not as glossy and kind of restrictive as a gloss can be on acoustic guitars so it lets the instrument breathe in a really nice way uh, therefore resonate in a really nice way as well. Penguin Spruce which Faith use on pretty much all of their guitars and then uh, Mahogany back and sides as well and it's an all-solid guitar which is great considering the price. I've seen guitars sometimes with uh, solid woods go for way more, sometimes double the price. Um, but yeah, seeing a really nice sort of like price area for a guitar that has these kind of components and ingredients. Classic Faith Patrick James Eggle neck joint here, keeping that nice and sturdy with a lovely mahogany neck. Uh, no fancy tuners on this one, just kind of like bog standard ones, but are kind of like Grover tuners. They've got the same kind of chiller pens there. Uh, the instrument stayed nicely in tune when I was playing it, so yeah, no harm done. New bone, nut and saddle. A uh, really nice composite that they use on Faith guitars that just keeps the instrument nice and in tune and stable, well intonated. Big fan of that. There's more of that lovely hand scalloped quarter sawn spruce in there as well uh, for the X style bracing, which again is another uh, Patrick Eggle design which just makes the instrument resonate really nicely. It's got a really lovely projection on it. Again, it's a nice mellow, kind of bright sounding projection. It's not too thunderous and powerful, um, but at the same time, it's, it's not sort of overbearing in that sense. You get just the right amount of everything. It's kind of like that sweet spot that I found most Faith guitars uh, kind of exude. Some of the dreadnoughts and stuff that Martin do, you can get a pretty decent one for around the same price that have those kind of total characteristics where it's quite loud and powerful and thunderous. You can get, still get a really nice rhythm sound, a nice sort of strumming sound from these guitars as well thanks to the way that they've made them quite deep. It's just a, a nice balance. I'd recommend A being between sort of like a traditional Martin guitar and one of these to see where that sweet spot lies between the both that, that you like. There's always going to be a different preference for everyone's ear and particular style. Uh, but me myself, I really like the sort of mellower, kind of like bright tone that you get from these. And I do like the sound of the, the rhythm guitar as well. It's quite spanky and, and quite bright and, and uh, present, which is nice as opposed to quite sort of thunderous. Uh, for anyone sort of playing solo guitar, um, they're ideal for that sort of thing because it's just all about the instrument as opposed to a dreadnought that has that dip sort of around the lower mids where your voice sits. So yeah, yeah, try them both. Try out the traditional ones and try out these kind of like modern face guitars to get the best idea of the spectrum between guitars. I think it's a great starting point for a bright guitar and then like the Martins are going to be a good spot for uh, more traditional and all boomier sounding ones.
the neck and fretboard on these guitars is wicked. They've got a really nice thin pro playing profile. They feel very modern and uh, the fret edges feel really nice. Always worth having a look when you take it out of the box, just in case. Oh, as I was saying, speaking of case, this one comes with a, uh, it's like a soft gig bag that you get with this one, so you, you get a case with it too, essentially, which is great. It's really nice that they throw that in, some nice faith case to carry around your nice instrument with. They say that it's naked, but you've still got the little appointment there with the Faith F on the 12th, kind of standard, and there is this cheeky abalone inlay around here, the rosette, sorry, that's going around the sound hole, just as a nice little decoration, makes your instrument seem a little bit more premium, which it kind of is. worth having a look at the whole range of Faith guitars because you've got this one which is essentially like a stripped back version of its kind of flagship stuff and they make some really awesome guitars sort of like in in the upper tier from this that have a couple of other features that are really worth looking at as well some really nice modern stuff going on with the pickup and the way the input jack works and just some awesome kind of premium features but if something that just works is what you're after that has that nice modern feel then this is a great guitar um, it's definitely by no means least because it's uh, a stripped back version but yeah, it's, it does what it's supposed to do and sounds like a faith and feels like a faith, which has, you know, that, as I said, that, that really nice kind of like signature, kind of snappy, nice, bright, articulate tone. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys, I really hope you enjoyed checking out this guitar with me. I'm not normally an acoustic guitar player at all really, I play electric guitar most of the time so I've gone out of my comfort zone today uh, but that's all good if it's for the greater good of uh, helping you guys enjoy some awesome instruments. If you like what you saw today in the video please give it a like, if you've got any questions or feedback, something you think we may have missed then uh, do leave us a comment below as well. If you like the videos you're seeing on the channel then uh, please subscribe to us as well.